Okay, so I'm on my way to the pharmacy to get my pre-op stuff. Iodine douche and an enema of some sort. We can't find the doctor's paper that tells us what it is, so we're going to guess and hope we're right. I look like a frantic, crazy person because I feel like a frantic, crazy person. Okay, this is the day before my surgery and I look like shit. I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm anxious, I'm excited, I'm on edge, and I don't feel well. Okay, this is an animal saline twin pack. Laxative, ready to use, latex free, easy squeeze thing. And a medicated disposable douche with iodine in it. Woohoo! Plastic things in both ends for my surgery pre op thingy this evening. I'm excited. I feel like I'm in a hentai. Hello, this is my Utom entry. Ha ha ha. It is the day of my surgery and we are about to walk out the door. Uh, it is 4.30 in the morning and I'm going to have my hysterectomy, total hysterectomy, including cervix. Today, right now, in hours of prep time. Later. Do do do. What'd you say? It took a minute for the signal to get from my brain to my waist to bend over to lock the door. We are in the parking deck going in for my surgery. Dun, dun, dun. I have to take an elevator before surgery. What kind of screwed up world is this? God, it's like a poultry device hospital. I'm actually not as nervous as I thought I would be. I mean, my stomach's a little, oh god, you didn't eat. But otherwise, I actually feel pretty okay. That's good, right? <laughs> we're here in the waiting room. We're waiting. There's lots of people here, but I'm not going to report them because that's, you know, rude. <coughs> violate HIPAA? Psh, whatever. Violate HIPAA? It does. You're not a doctor. So, what you want to say? Uh, so, I don't think you have any obligations to pay some kind of confidentiality. They are watching horrible medical news. Anyway. Yeah, I got a wristband. I just got a text from Cosmix. Wishing me good luck. Thank you. These go over top of it. Okay, I want this one here. Oh, I'm on the line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you get that piece of paper gave you vitals and stuff? Oh, oh I did. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. Anything else? No, I'm good. Thank okay. you. I'm going to get her going here. Okay. Set. Okay. Hey, hey, Sean and one of the other nurses. I know you're going to rate change, but I'm. Okay, so now I've got to put on these. Crazy. And then I have to put on these over the top of it. And my nightgown, the open button, flapping the one. And now I'm starting to get nervous. Okay. Isn't it ironic that my uterus hurts right now? Goodbye. I can't take this anymore. Push planning up. Yeah, I just broke up my uterus. <laughs> I think my toe thing came on toad. I pulled down over my toe. Hey, sorry. I'm just running advertisements. My yeah, veins hate me. Your veins hate you. Mm -hmm. Or they Which, love me. Well, fair. you know, you've got kind of fair, really fair skin, and you have a red tint to your hair. Mm -hmm. So people with that complexion, unfortunately, aren't known for big bulging veins, unfortunately. So for you... Yeah. I'm a champion bleeder. I'm good at it. Are you? It. Do you lift weights? No. Oh, well. If you lifted weights... I did for a little while. Lifting weights makes your veins come to the surface, too. Yeah. So this is just your tourniquet. And I want you to have good anesthesia today, so I'm going to try to get a nice IV in you. Yeah. numbing medicine that I'm going to use, okay? I'm just going to numb up the vein here. 
That's funny. <laughs> Burning numbing medicine. Yeah. It's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm going to numb you so stick you. Well, if you saw the two needles in comparison to each other, you would see oh, why. Oh, yeah. Done. Yay! Yay! For my saline drip. Alright. My favorite part about these things. My favorite side of it. We'll go slower. Ah! <laughs> right into the wall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just heard from the doctor. Stephanie's out of surgery and everything went good. So we'll see her in a little bit. I'm sure she'll be silly and happy to see the camera. We're in our third waiting room now. Uh, we just had to clear out of the one we were in to make room for a family of 11 that got some unfortunate news. Uh, I'm sorry to hear, but still waiting on Stephanie to get a room. The one hour until she got a room has turned into, uh, what are we at, 12 o'clock now? So it's been three hours? Eh, it's a hospital, it's busy. Okay, hopefully we'll see her soon. Hello everybody. This is me saying hi. I have just broken up with my uterus and my ovaries. And uh, she took my cervix with her when she left. So, yay, I'm a free woman. I am in the recovery room, or no, I'm in the hospital room, on drugs, clearly. I got all these, let's not get my information on there. But let's say, I got like 20 different, not 20, I got two different IVs. I don't know why. And I got an artery line, look at that. Um, <clears throat> it hurts, but it's, uh, not so bad if you lay still. It's relieving to know it's over with. Uh, they have me on good medication. And my happy saline drip, David showed saline drip. Saline drip. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. I already have a lovely rose from my, my wonderful mother-in-law, who is coincidentally behind David, if she doesn't mind getting the video. If she hates it, we'll cut it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always on camera. Well, there you go. So, this is the aftermath. I survived. Yay, everybody. Now let's just see if there's any improvement. We'll give you another update later. Bye. For now. There you go. You recording? Yeah. Hello, everybody. It is... 6.30. Six it's almost 6.30 in the morning. Um, I've been up pretty much all night long. It just removed my catheter. That was fun. And I get to go for my first walk. Yay, here we go. Yeah, you're standing up for the first time in 22 hours. Okay. Are you recording yourself? Maybe. There she is, coming out of the hospital. Say hello, Stephanie. Hello. Is this the ride to Albuquerque? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. We well, have a fantastic day and holiday. <laughs> 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 